we just stumbled across this hole where Pablo actually buried around 10 million dollars. Good morning guys and welcome back to yet another video. This time from Colombia. And since we've seen so many places here in Colombia already two years ago, we now decided it's time to do the most touristic tour that you can do here in Medellin, a Pablo Escobar tour. We are gonna visit the place where he died, his cemetery and his self-built prison. So join us on this Pablo Escobar Medellin trip. Let's go. Our first stop of the day was Barrio Escobar. A place in Medellin, a part of Medellin that Pablo Escobar built for the poor people back in the days when he had already made quite a lot of money from drug trafficking. And the reason that you can find pictures of Pablo Escobar here all over the place is because the people living here really adore him. Because he built the houses for them and now they can live here for free. Actually still 65,000 people live here for free in the houses that Pablo Escobar built for them. So yeah, you can imagine, even though he did a lot of bad things, many people in Medellin, and especially this barrio, really like him. So now let's walk around a bit more in Barrio Escobar and see what it's about. Our guide just told us that many people here even built altars and shrines in their houses for Pablo Escobar because he's holy for them. Yeah, they believe he's their saint. Yeah. This one, the Pablo made this barrio when the Hito made this barrio. This Pablo uh, make a speech for two hours. That's Pablo, when he was a senator of Colombia, he was only one senator for one month. Because get expelled by the Minister of Justice, he bring the picture, and Pablo get expelled, and this guy attacked one of the biggest laboratory of Pablo, we call Tranquilandia. Pablo lose one billion dollars. 23 planes, five helicopters, and 46 tons of okay. That was actually a pretty short visit to Barrio Escobar. We only visited the shrine, saw some photos, then we went to a barber shop where there were some more photos, and now we're already back at the car and going to the next destination. After about an hour drive through Envigado, a city right below Medellin, we arrived at the place we looked forward to the most, La Catedral, Pablo's self-built prison. But in reality, this was more like a luxurious home he built for himself and not really a prison, because this place had it all. A casino, a football field, a bar, multiple houses and even a helipad. His prison is a huge property on this hill and he had everything. He had a casino, he had a wellness area with jacuzzi and sauna uh, and he stayed here or lived here for one year and one month before he tried or before he escaped. And every day up to 1000 people came here to visit him because he also did a lot of business stuff here, business stuff, uh, narco trafficking stuff and all the walls you can see here are actually still the same that Pablo Escobar built. They just rearranged them a bit, but these are actually the real walls of Pablo Escobar's prison. It's crazy. So Pablo chose this location to build his prison because he knew the area very well. He, when he was a kid, he climbed these mountains and visited the waterfalls in this area. So he knew exactly how to escape through the mountains. And also he really enjoyed the view over the city. <laughs> These are some of the cells for his other prison inmates because he was not the only prisoner here but as it was all a farce no one actually lived in those cells they could just freely walk around in, on the whole property and now we're gonna walk along the route where he escaped so follow me through the jungle <laughs> Whoa. The daughter of Pablo, she was seven years old when the Pablo was in jail. Sometimes the family come and stay all day. So this is the, the place 
the daughter of Pablo Escobar keep all the toys. Oh, huh. crazy. <laughs> Along the way, where Pablo and his brother Roberto escaped from the prison, which was actually a seven hour hike in the middle of the night, and it was very foggy that day, we just stumbled across this hole where Pablo actually buried around $10 million. And on the day they escaped, Roberto said, Pablo, let's pick up the money. There's still $10 million there. And Pablo said, don't worry, I'm going to send someone to pick it up later. But when they came back or sent someone back here to pick up the money, it was already gone. And it seems like the police found it, but they have never reported to the government that they actually found the money. So yeah, you do the math. Some policemen made a lot of cash on that day. Tell us in the comments down below if you would have reported it if you were the one who found the money. I think would I you? wouldn't. I wouldn't, no? <laughs> what? Probably not. <laughs> After escaping from his private prison, Pablo and his brother Roberto lived in a friend's house for about a week before relocating to another house in Medellin where Pablo spent the last three days of his life before being captured and shot alongside some of his closest allies. Until today it is still not completely clear who killed him. People say he killed himself, that's what his family are telling, that he shot himself in the head. Um, the Americans say that they killed Pablo Escobar and then some other Colombian guys maybe killed him. So we will never know who killed him, <laughs> but it was on this roof. Only one day after his death, Pablo was buried on a cemetery in Medellin. We're now at the grave of Pablo Escobar and when he was buried here in 1993, 8,000 people came to Medellin to the cemetery to watch his um, ceremony. So it was completely full here, the whole park was full, police had to stop them, they ran down the fences, they just wanted to see Pablo Escobar. And some people say that when they saw the body of him because they opened his um, coffin, they say he didn't look like Pablo Escobar, so it was not him. But it was only because he gained a lot of weight and he grew a, a big, a huge beard before he died. And some people actually decided not to show up for the funeral because they were worried that the Cali cartel might bomb the whole ceremony and so they avoided coming here on the day of the funeral. There's many other members of the Medellin cartel and some relatives and close friends of Pablo Escobar buried here as well. Uh, many of whom you might know from the famous Netflix show like uh, Gustavo and Limon. Limon and many other people. So this is the grave of Pablo Escobar and his family members, his father, his mother, his nanny for example. And if you're wondering what these two rocks are, they are pointing directly to the Hacienda Napoles. So he wanted to get buried there, but I actually don't know why it didn't happen. Um, he was buried here. I think because the people of Medellin said that he belongs here. They wanted to, him to be here. They also visit his grave quite often. They pray here because they see him as a saint. So yeah, that's why he's not buried uh, at his villa, but these two rocks are a symbol for his villa. <laughs> Our last stop of the day was Park Inflexion in Medellin. And it's a memorial that was built for the 48,000 victims between 1989 and 1993 that died of the because of the narco trafficking and um, each dead person is symbolized by a gunshot hole so it's 48,000 holes in this wall and it's insane there are so many holes and you can imagine how many people died because of this whole narco trafficking war we are now back from the tour and we gotta say, even though we knew that Pablo Escobar had a crazy impact on Colombia and especially Medellin, we didn't know that he affected the city in so many ways. At basically every corner our guy told us, here this happened, here Pablo killed this guy 
and he gave us so many examples and it's really crazy to learn uh, many new things about the history of Colombia, Medellin, the narco trafficking and Pablo Escobar in general. And honestly guys, it was quite shocking to learn some of those things. And we gotta say, we really do believe that the good things that he did, um, for example, building the houses for the poor people, does not outweigh all the death and all the bad things he did in the past by any means. And we really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let us know in the comments down below um, if you would have taken the money if you found it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Was hiding in a small house just around the corner for three days. We just arrived at the famous La Catedral Jay that Pablo Escobar. We have now arrived. We have now arrived at. These two rocks are pointing to the Hacienda Nap Napolis. Napolis. What's that?